Hello, I'm here with Piero Mizzani, the manager of the motorcycle business unit for Pirelli, who's going to take us through the new Diablo Rosso Corsa 2. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I have to say we had a difficult task with this product uh, because we had to replace, first of all, a very successful Rosso Corsa, well appreciated everywhere, but uh, adding something more for guys who want to match the best of both. So they want to go on a, on a track and have a lot of fun, really without any, a, any compromise, let me say, like that on a track. But then they don't go there with a trailer. They go back from a track day with their own bike. They have to use the bike also on, on the road, maybe wet. Maybe they want also some mileage. So we had to make a tire that could match these two things, the confidence on the road and the fun uh, on the track. To do this, uh, the, new, uh, the new scheme of compounds uh, helps a lot. As you have uh, highlighted, uh, we had to, to develop totally new compounds for this. The new scheme uh, is a, a five-zone uh, rear uh, compound and a three-zone uh, front. So it means uh, three different compounds uh, are placed uh, on the rear tire, two different compounds on the front. Let's stay on the most complicated, which is the rear. So we had to match different needs. When you are on the straight, uh, of course, you need the stability to go on motorways, to go on open roads. Uh, you need the mileage. That for sure is a key uh, issue also for most of the sporty riders anyhow. When uh, it gets too wet, for example, you have to have the maximum grip, confidence, not only the grip, believe me, in the wet it's a matter for us also to be absolutely confident and enjoy riding in the wet uh, in safety. So that's why we went from the center that is a 70% silica compound. So it's a mixture of carbon black and silica to provide uh, exactly the performance, as I said, uh, between uh, grip and mileage, to a full silica compound in the mid shoulder area, this part here, which is the part that you normally need uh, on the road, especially when it's cold, when it's wet, so you need a compound that does not need a warm-up, has to work uh, perfectly in any temperature condition. Then you g when you get to the full lean, uh, very likely you are on a track, and then on the full lean uh, we went for the decision to use uh, our superbike experience, so it's really a superbike compound made of full uh, carbon black. Well, we've just ridden on the track for the first time and the thing that for me that stands out is historically a 100% silica compound would not be able to take the kind of heat that is generated yes. and I understand the carbon black compound here is developed from the Super Corsa SC3 compound That's right. uh, or similar and similar. developed from it yes. and I was expecting to feel a difference in grip accelerating out of corners between the full carbon black and the 100% silica but it feels homogenous. It feels like the same tire, yeah. and even when we came in from the track, there was no tearing up or getting snotty and hot of this area. How do you manage this? Sure, this was uh, the challenge we set to our R&D guys. Uh, uh, but uh, we could manage this also thanks to the enormous development in raw materials uh, and the experience we have made in raw materials and the way to process raw materials uh, recently. So it's true what you say that in the mind uh, you have that the silica compound is, is, is a really relatively cold compound optimized for the road uh, and should not match a racing compound. But uh, this is not a normal silica compound. So in, in the recent times we have invested a lot into the research of materials uh, to make the silica compound work also on a track. Already with the Rosso 3 we started this journey, let me say, which is a full silica compound that is able anyhow to stand the, the, let me say, the consistency of performance on the track. Here even more, of course, because you have the challenge to match the two. So this silica is not a standard road silica, it's a racing silica compound, let me call it in this way. So we have uh, homogenized uh, the typical uh, uh, base of a silica compound with the polymers functionalized for silica with some additional things that help to generate uh, the hysteresis and then the grip, uh, like raisins, uh, like other, uh, let's say, chemical ingredients that then can enhance uh, the, the grip mechanism. So the challenge was to make uh, the two things work together because it's not enough to put uh, the two things uh, together. They have to work uh, together because if they are uh, together but they don't match, uh, 
will not work. So we have optimized uh, this development of the 100% silica in order to match uh, exactly these requirements in terms of uh, heat generation and grip generation, but also in terms of uh, dynamic moduli. In a way that also the stiffness uh, that you have of the compound uh, is uh, basically very close uh, from the two for the two regions, uh, in order not to have uh, not only a different feeling uh, that you I'm happy you experienced this, you don't have any transition feeling, but also in the appearance and in the wear of the, of the tire. So the big challenge was really in the material side. Oh yes, cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, I think this, this new tire is going to be a real good tire for riders who want to be able to ride on the road, um, have any kind of weather conditions that we get in New Zealand where it could rain one minute and could be dry the next and want to ride on track, but don't want to be compromised. That's, to me, the big um, benefit of this new tyre. So thank you, Pirelli, and uh, thank you for your uh, time. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your ride.